Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps on what you need to do to cast your phone screen over to your television or another display. Now, if you're looking for a more in-depth guide specifically on how to do this with a Roku, an Amazon Fire TV, or a Google Chromecast, I have specific tutorial videos on how to do each of those linked right at the top of the video description. This is just going to be more of a general discussion and what you need to do to mirror cast. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that you're hooked into the same wireless router internet connection with both your phone and your TV so that the two devices can communicate with each other. You can check this in your phone by pulling down the top menu area and finding the little gear clicking on that to open up your settings and then click on where it says Wi-Fi and internet and right under the Wi-Fi area you can see the name of the router that you're hooked into. Mine's called it 10 to 22 so that's going to be the same wireless router that I also have to be hooked into with my smart television so that the two devices can communicate with each other. Now the next step in this process is you need to make sure that the display that you want to cast to is in its mirroring mode or casting mode. Now it's different based on what smart TV or smart device that you're using. And again, for those specific tutorials for the Roku, Amazon, as well as Google devices, again, those will be linked right at the top of the video description. Not as much of an issue with the Chromecast once you have everything set up, but Amazon Fire in particular, you have to put it into casting mode. And then also you have to set things up with the casting mode with the Roku as well. So there are going to be some differences in having your smart TV be capable of casting your phone screen based on the device that you have. But once you're in that casting mode and you have the same internet with your phone and your smart TV device, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is go back to the settings in your phone and find where it says Bluetooth and device connection. And then about halfway down the screen, you can see something that says cast. Click on that. And this will congregate a list of all of the different displays that are in your general vicinity that you can cast to from your phone. Now, if you don't find the device that you're looking for in this area, then it probably means that you're either not hooked into the same internet connection or the device that you're looking to cast to isn't in casting mode. Those are the biggest hurdles to jump over to make sure that this mirror casting works. So once you click on the display that you want to cast to, it should mirror over your phone screen within maybe about five to 10 seconds, and then you should be good to go at that point in time. And just to wrap up this video, another way that you can cast from your phone over to your smart display is with inside of a video application itself, such as YouTube or Netflix or Amazon Prime Video, Hulu TV, there's a bunch of different video apps that you can use, obviously. But when you go into these apps with your phone, many of them will have the casting option built right into them. You can see I'm on my YouTube channel right now, and there's a little casting icon next to the name of my channel, How To Tech, right there at the top of the screen. So when I click on that, it also congregates a list of all of the different devices that I can cast to currently with inside the YouTube application. And you might want to do something like this because it will oftentimes let you cast in the background whatever video or application you might be using on your phone over to your TV, but then it will let you still use other applications on your phone at the same time. It's not just simply mirror casting everything that's on your screen over to your TV. So that's another way that you can go about doing this. So that's going to wrap this one up, guys. I appreciate you stopping by. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more. And again, for those more specific tutorial videos for Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Chromecast, all those step-by-step -step tutorial videos will be linked right at the top of the video description.